Hi, good morning, dears, and uh, hope you are all fine. Today we are going to study a new chapter in history, history third chapter, the Neolithic farmers and herders. Neolithic farmers and herders. We are studying about the, the evolution of uh, mankind, evolution of people. There are four period of evolution. A Paleolithic age, Mesolithic age, Neolithic age and Calculatic age. We are already study, uh, studied about the, the two ages, Paleolithic and Mesolithic age. Now we are going to study the third one that is uh, Neolithic and uh, the fourth one that is Calcolithic. In this chapter, Neolithic and Calcolithic period we are going to study. Okay, yes. The Neolithic or New Stone Age began uh, around 10,000 BCE. The Neolithic or the New Stone Age, Neolithic uh, period also known as New Stone Age. This period began around in 10,000 BCE. During this age, some major changes came about in the life of the people that transformed them from that nomadic, uh, that nomadic hunters uh, hunters and gatherers into settled farmers and herders. In this uh, Neolithic age, there are so many that the development that took place. And uh, this development changed, tra that uh, transformed the people uh, from nomadic, uh, nomadic or that uh, gatherers life uh, into the settled uh, farmers and herders. Beginning of agriculture on a large scale, and the domestication of animals for different purposes were the most important development of this period. The Neolithic people began to that, uh, that uh, agriculture, beginning of agriculture. They know the agriculture and uh, large scale of domestication of animals. They domesticated animals uh, for different, uh, different purposes. These two are the agriculture and the domestication. These two are the most important uh, that development of uh, the Neolithic period. They produce wheat and barley. The first cereal, the wheat and barley were the first cereal grown in the Neolithic age. In this age, wheat and bar barley were the grown. And stone sickles. Stone sickles were found at several Neolithic sites. Uh, that means uh, Neolithic men used for harvesting crops. Stickle means uh, some harvesting type of tools. So, we found uh, stone uh, sickles in many sites. That, that means that uh, the Neolithic men used uh, this for harvesting crops. And uh, then they began to uh, that, uh, lead a settled life. Then the Neolithic people began to lead a settled life. They were able to produce uh, their own food. The Neolithic people able to produce their own food. The Neolithic people practice farming and thus they lead a settled life. They practice farming. They plow the soil, sow the seed and grow crops and harvest them. They know how to plow the soil and they sow the field, uh, sow the seed and grow crops and harvest. Their settlement is mostly located closely to the river, lakes, etc. That settlement closely related to that uh, mostly located to uh, close to the rivers. These places get that uh, in these places they get water in the riverside or in the lake side uh, they get water for their irrigation and other purpose. So they, they settled in that type. Neolithic man domesticate animals in large scale. Animals like dog, goat, cattle, pig, sheep, horse. And donkey were they domesticated. And goat and cattle provide milk. Sheep provide wool. And also horse and donkey carrying burden. Goat and cattle provide milk. Sheep provide wool. Uh, provided wool and, and horse and donkey. They carrying burdens. Some of the archaeological sites in Mehra and Tekel Kota indicates that uh, the animal birds, uh, that the animals were tamed in large numbers. The animals were tamed in large numbers. Domesticated animals were protected and giving them more care. Domestic animals were protected and giving them more care 
as uh, the people were aware of uh, their significance. People know about uh, their significance. So, they give uh, more protection and care of their domesticated animals. The next tools. Neolithic people produce uh, polished and fine cutting tools. Neolithic people produce, they produce uh, polished and fine cutting tools. These tools are sharper than Mesolithic age. This, the Neolithic uh, tools are very sharper than the Mesolithic age. And people used tools like axe, plow, sickles and hoes to clear forest and harvest the crops. They harvest, uh, the, they clear the forest and also harvest. And uh, to grind grains, they used a kind of rounded stone like uh, today's mortar. They use uh, a, that, a rounded stone that is like today's mortar. They also made uh, that uh, spindles and needles. They use uh, the needles and uh, spindles. They used uh, microliths to make uh, spears and arrows. Microliths a type of stones. They used uh, microliths uh, to make uh, spears and uh, arrows. Number of uh, stone acts uh, have been found in the sites of uh, Bersaho. The so many number of uh, that uh, more number of uh, that stones uh, have been found in Bersahum and uh, and uh, Gufkar in uh, Jammu and uh, Kashmir. In these two sites, uh, there are uh, a number of uh, stone axes were found. Besides these stone blades, stone set, uh, cells, uh, etc., have uh, also found in uh, Deccan, Northeast, and Chota Nagpur Plateau. These are the sites of Deccan. Northeast and Cholta Nagarpur Plateaus are the sites of uh, the Mesolithic period. And next, uh, pottery. As farming increased, uh, Neolithic people felt uh, the need to store food grains they produced. They produced more food grains. So, they needed to store their food grains that uh, they produced. They started making pots and vessels for storing food grains. The Neolithic people started to make uh, Pots and vessels uh, for storing their food grains. These uh, uh, vessels were also used for eating, drinking, cooking, etc. They make pots, uh, they make vessels. These vessels uh, were also used uh, for eating, drinking, cooking, and etc. As a result, uh, the craft of making pots came into existence. As a result of this all, the craft of making came into existence. Initially, they used to do that uh, bas they used uh, baskets uh, to store. Initial in initial stage, they used to store the food grains in baskets. Their surplus food grains, and uh, gradually they learned to make vessels and uh, bake it uh, for that uh, this uh, that uh, bake it on fire. These uh, vessels they learned that uh, they learned to make vessels uh, and uh, bake it uh, on uh, fire. They also decorating the pots. The Neolithic people make pots and they also decorating the pots. The pots could be used uh, for storing that uh, for that yes for storing milk or water also. These pots uh, they used these pots for storing milk and uh, water also. Then next uh, the most important one the invention of a wheel and cart. The discovery of wheel was another important development that made their life much easier. The Neolithic people discovered that the inventor wheel. It is possible that a log or a stone rolling downwards sparkled the idea of wheel. That how to invent wheel? It is possible that a log or stone that rolling downwards, this sparkled the idea of wheel. Wheel helped them to carry things smoothly and travel long distance. This wheel helped them to carry the things, heavy things, smoothly and travel long distance. The wheel and the cart made life easier. The wheel and the cart made life easier. People travel one place to another very faster. People travel one place to another very faster and also easily transport heavy objects. People easily transport heavy objects. 
They first used the potter's wheel. It improved the process of making pots. First they used potter's wheel. This yeah, it improved the make the process of making pots. The wheel was also used in that spinning thread which led to weaving. This wheel was also used in spinning thread. So weaving also that improved. Then community life. With the advent of agriculture, people settled down permanently and began to live in villages. People began to live in villages. Neolithic village consists of a few closely built houses surrounded by a common fence. Few closely built houses surrounded by a common fence. During this age, the concept of uh, that uh, family, during this age, the concept of family became popular for the first time. The first time, the concept of family became popular in the Neolithic age. The families are living in uh, say, uh, same settlement. This family were living in same settlement were closely related. Closely related people were living in same settlement. They followed the uh, same customs, uh, same beliefs uh, and method of worship. This uh, that uh, people, they followed. Who that live in same settlement, they followed the uh, uh, same custom, same belief and also same method of worship. A group of families were called a tribe. This type of group of families were called a tribe. And uh, megaliths, megaliths means, megal the megaliths means the disposal of a dead. The Neolithic people followed the practice of burying the dead. dead. They, they believed in life after death. The Neolithic people followed the practice of that burying the dead. They placed huge rectangular blocks of stone marked the burial places. They placed huge rectangular shape of that blocks of stone marked in the burial places. These that stone were called megalis. What are megalis? Megalis are the huge rectangular shape of stone marked in the burial places. That is megalis. The dead were buried along with many objects uh, that uh, they used during their lifetime. Uh, this shows that uh, the Neolithic man believed uh, life after death. Okay students, we have been studying that uh, the Neolithic farmers and herders, farming, domestication of animals, tools, pottery, the invention of wheat, uh, their community life and the mechanics. Yes, okay. Then I hope uh, uh, you all have understood uh, this portion. Yes, study well and take care. Bye.